For the ammo box, let's see if we can find another image in there again. Um, we really don't have another one, do we? It looks like that's about the only one we have. So this is the side it's supposed to be on, on the left side, but all we see is that connecting piece. So we're going to have to kind of go from this and kind of wing it. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's see if we can kind of wing it here. What I'm going to do is extrude this piece out of these rims on the, um, on the post here. So this can be one of them here. We'll go ahead and take these faces and press Alt-S and kind of move those back in. And then let's create another one of these things. I'll create two edge loops here and let's move it up. And let's say the other rim is going to be right about here. So if we alt click between two of the faces and then press E and enter, and then I'll press alt S and kind of pull that out just a little bit like that. Okay. So now we have those two rims there. Now we need to extrude out and get this rectangular piece right here. So let's try that. I'll select some of the faces here, maybe four, and these faces here. Then let's extrude those out. I'll press E and X and bring those out a bit. And then I want to flatten them, S and X, and let's flatten those like that. I'm going to need another edge loop for that. So what I could do is just extrude these out. So I'll bring them back a bit and then hit E and X and then bring these out like this. Let's flatten these up, S and X, that. And then let's go ahead and bridge these edge loops. So if we select these faces up here, like this, and these faces down here, then we can press Control E and bridge edge loops. And there we go. So we've got that piece now, that part right there. Uh, we've got a problem with this bolt, and I don't think we're ever going to fix that problem, so let's just delete it. There we go. And then we need this little piece coming out right here. So let's see what we have for that. Uh, we don't really have anything for that, so let's go ahead and create two edges here, maybe one up top like that, and the other one I'll pull down in the Z to about right here, something like that. And then let's just grab these two faces here and extrude them out. I'll go ahead and delete those faces there. All right, so there we've got that piece. Now we need this kind of box holder here, this thing here. So I think what we need to do is just create a cube and then cut out the parts that we don't want. So let's try that. I will uh, select this edge right here and move the cursor to it. And then I will go ahead and create a cube right here. And I think what we need to do is just um, scale it in the Y. Let me, uh, actually I'll bring it back where it should be right around in here and let's scale it in the Y S and Y and I think maybe I'll make it a little bit wider than that post there and uh, then let's grab a face here and let's pull it out like this and it needs to come down oh about like this and maybe come out a little bit more like that. All right, let's give that a try. Now we need to insert some edge loops to be able to cut this out. So let's tab into edit mode, and I'll insert an edge loop right down here for this part. I'll also insert an edge loop kind of up here. I see a, a place here where it kind of goes in front there. And... Um, what let's also do is go ahead and split it and mirror it. Let's do that. I'll add an edge loop right down the center here. And then let's press Alt-click for these. And let's select these faces as well. And let's delete these. And then we can mirror this over. Add a mirror modifier here. We'll 
mirror it in the y-axis here, and we'll turn on clipping and turn on the edit cage on the other side. Now we're kind of intersecting with it here, so maybe what I should do is grab this face and pull it back just a bit. And once again, this is just us adjusting things as we add more objects, more details, and that's fine. So now with this, I can tab into edit mode and I can use the knife tool to cut this basic shape out so we can remove that. So I think what I'll do is hit the K key to go to the knife tool and then I'll just hover over this edge and click. And I'll come down here and hover over this edge and click. And then I'll hit enter. And there we go, there's one edge right there. And since we've mirrored it over, it's the same on the other side. And in the front, I think what we can do is hit the K key again and go maybe from here up to here. Let's try that. There we go. Now what we can do is take all of these faces here and let's just delete them. These up top as well. X, delete faces, and there we go. So that's the basic shape of that. Now let's go ahead and add a solidify modifier to it. I'll go ahead and apply the scale. And let's come up here, solidify. And um, it looks like I should turn on even thickness. And let's click and drag in the thickness field. I'll try and make this a little bit thinner. Like this maybe, something like that. There we go. It looks like I could uh, take this and move it back in, right? Select this edge and kind of move this back in here like that. Okay. And then we just need to add kind of a cube into here to sit in the box. So maybe I will take uh, an edge down here maybe. Maybe I'll select this edge and move the cursor to it with Shift S2. And then let's create a cube right here. Let's kind of put this in here like that. Scale it in the Y. Scale it in the X. There we go. And let's bring it up a bit. I think I need to bring this up so it's just above here. Maybe something like that. And then also, what I could do is just add a little bit to the top as if there's a lid on top. You see that edge right there? Maybe what I could do is just do this. And then what we could do is bevel this. We could press Control B and bevel this like this. We don't need all those edges, so I'll take it down to one. And then with these faces still selected, we could hit E and Enter. And then we could just scale in. So I'll hit S, Shift Z to only scale in the X and the Y and push in just a bit. Oh, uh, it looks like I could scale in the Y a little bit more like that. There we go. So we have kind of an edge there. And lastly, what let's do is uh, put a handle on it. Let's come up here on top and let's select that face and move the cursor to it. Let's create a cube. And for this, I think what I want to do is just get rid of this face, this face, and this face, like this. And then let's just scale it down, bring it down here, hit S and Y, and bring that in like this. Uh, let's scale it in the Z, maybe the X a bit. All right, so we can put it there. Uh, let's go ahead and apply the scale because what I'd like to do is grab these two edges and press Control B and bevel these out like this. Add a few like that. Let's take the profile back to 0.5. And then let's also add um, a solidify modifier to it. Give it a little bit of thickness. And I'll bring that back like that. 
Uh, about there, let's say. There we go. Okay. So now we can take that piece, that piece, that, this, and the gun. Join them all together. Control J. Oh, look what happened. Let me tab into edit mode. When I did that, the mirrored part of the box holder went away as well as the solidify modifiers for the handle and that piece. So let's undo this. So let's go apply those before we join them together. So for here, um, I'm going to bring the solidify modifier up to the top of the stack and then I'm going to click apply here and then apply the mirror. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and apply the solidify there. Now we should be able to take all of these pieces and let's join it to the gun. Control J. There we go. Now let's go ahead and smooth it. And yeah, that looks pretty good there. Okay, so let's go with that. There we go. I feel like this side is kind of empty. We need something in there. Maybe we could add a slot here and that might help. And maybe a piece over here. Well, at least let's work on this here. Let's just add a slot here. Um, looks like we've already got an edge there that we can use. Let's maybe add an edge over here. And let's add two right here. Let's scale down in the Z and just grab that face there and extrude in. There we go. So we've got something there of interest. All right, let's take a look at it here. What do we think? Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. We've got some details that give it a little bit of visual interest up there. I think maybe we should put something like this down there in the back. It feels a little empty to me back in here. So maybe in the next video, let's work on creating this brace here. And then hopefully that'll be enough for the gun there in the turret.